Hello everyone. We're here right now because our first attempt at making a little transparent overlay on top of our picture didn't quite work because it won't print correctly. Um, it doesn't print in transparent mode, it only prints in full color. So we have to go and try another way to do this. Um, first thing we're going to need to do in order to fix what we did before was we're going to have to remove the shape that we created earlier, that rectangle that we set the transparency on. So in order to do that and delete that rectangle, we're going to click just somewhere on it to select it. Once you see the blue border and the handles appear around your transparent rectangle, press the backspace key to delete it. As you're working, remember, if you make a mistake, you can always use the undo arrows to get your work back. Just undo as many times as it takes to get back to where you started. So now we are ready to use an overlay graphic that I've prepared for you to make the transparent shape over your picture. We'll start putting that graphic on by clicking the insert image button on the toolbar. I've shared a folder with you that contains all the graphic files that you'll need to complete your project. To find that folder, click the shared with me option on the left side of the window. Scroll down if necessary until you find the Knight of the Notables Overlays folder and then click to open it. In this folder you should see five files labeled trans50 through trans90 with a .png at the end. The lower the number in the file name, the more transparent it will be when it sits on top of your picture. You might have to experiment to find the file that works best with your picture, so don't think you can just do this once and be done if you don't like what you see. I'm going to start with the trans70.png file first since it's right in the middle. I'll click it to select it, and then I'm going to click the Select button at the bottom of the window to insert it into my page. The graphic is just a small square to start out at first. I'm going to need to stretch it out to cover all of my picture that I'm trying to soften up underneath my text. Though you don't have to, I like to start by moving the square up into one of the corners. I'm going to start by putting it up in the upper left corner of my picture. Now I'll just use the handles on the edge to stretch it out to fit it over my picture that I want to soften up. We're close to being done, but you can quickly see that I still have a problem. The text is behind my transparent overlay, and it's not going to print as dark as I need it to. I need to move the overlay back behind the text. To move layers back and forth, I start by clicking the Arrange menu button. Then I'll select Order, and then slide your mouse over to the Send Backward option. In this example, you should only have to do this once, but if your text is still behind the transparent overlay, keep repeating these steps until your text is in front of everything. And there we are. Our transparent overlay is in place, and because we've tested it this time, we know it will print correctly. Now remember, this is a great lesson. If at first you don't succeed, try again until you get it right.